Welcome everybody, Patty in here. Hey, today I heard or I saw a question from a person on the internet and her name is Meredith and she said, you know what? I'd like to make a shirt or a knockout design for my aunt. And this time, rather than having the word mom, I have the word aunt. And I want to have all of her nieces and nephews listed with him, whoopsie, the word aunt. So I thought, you know, I think I can help you with that. So the first thing I did was, well, check over here on my screen and I'll show you what I tried first. The first thing that I did was, I'm just doing a little testing. I chose Patty and David, that's me and my husband, and established in 1974. Yep, that's when we were married, probably long before a lot of you were born. Sometimes I don't even think I'm that old, let alone married that long. But anyway, uh, so I tried this and it worked perfectly. I was able to do the knockout just like this. So then I went on to the next test and I did a ant. And then I named in a bunch of an aunt that I had in mind, her nieces and nephews, at least the oldest ones. And I tried that and that worked out really well too. So I'm going to show Meredith and anyone else who would like to try this how to do it. So I'm gonna open up a new screen, come over here to the text tool on the left and grab the text. And I'm gonna type in with my caps locks on, ant. Then I'm gonna highlight the word ant and I'm gonna come over to the right hand side where the text style panel is, click on that. And I'm going to change my font to impact because that's the one that works really well. Either that or freshman. Um, Impact is on my computer automatically, I believe, if you have Windows. Freshman, I downloaded from defont.com. But I'm going to use Impact, and I'm going to click on it and make it much bigger. And if I want to, I can come over here to the right-hand side and change the character spacing, just like we do in Cricut Design Space or any other program. But I think I'll leave them so they're just barely touching. Well, not even touching, just close. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back again to the text tool on the left and click on that. Come over here and I'll just start typing in those same names I had done before. So I'll type in Aaron. Oops, I don't want my caps locks on. Aaron. Uh, who's next? Alicia. Jordan doing these in order of age. So I did the first line and just clicked. Oops, I forgot the end for Jordan. I've got to double click on it to get back to text editing. Then I can add the N at the end. And then I'm going to come over to the text tool again on the left. And I'm going to type in, uh, who's next? Let's see, Kristen. Oh, wait, Kristen should have been before Jordan. That's okay, though. So Kristen, Leanne, I'm not sure which one of these is older, and Beth. Okay, so anyway, that gets you the idea. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one and bring it up close and kind of uh, have it centered just by my eyeball, like that. And then I'm going to grab both of these, and I'm going to come over. Oh, first thing I'm going to do after I grab both of them is I'm going to hold down my Alt key and drag down another layer so I have an exact copy of it just like that. You can go to duplicate if you want to, but I like to hold down just my alt key and uh, use my mouse button and just drag. So the next thing I'm going to do then is highlight these again on my screen and come over here to the offset tool. It's the tool that kind of looks like a star. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to come up here to the word offset. And it automatically makes a certain size offset. It's always uh, default is 0 0.125. I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to make it 0 0.08. And if I hit enter on my keyboard, that allows me to see on my screen what it's going to look like. Uh, if I don't like that, I can keep changing it for, to different sizes. Once I hit apply though, that's it. I can't uh, change that one any longer. I'd have to start again or hit undo, undo, undo. So I'm going to apply that because I like that. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and several people have asked um, what these are for. The one on the very left is the fill color. So if I fill this thing to pink, notice what happens. 
to my um, offset. It's pink, but I just want it to be white. So I'm going to change the fill color to white. This little box here is the line color and I can change that or leave it as it is. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the blue text away from both of these. And I'm going to grab all of this and I'm going to, I think I'll group it, right click and group just so I don't lose anything. Then I'm going to bring it over here up top of the word ant, center it however I like it. And I can use the tools if I want to, but I just eyeball things a lot. And the next thing that I would do is while this is selected, I'll hold down my shift key on my keyboard and select the word ant behind it. Then all I have to do is come over here on the very right hand side to the modify panel and click on that. And then once the modify panel is open, I can come up here and say subtract. And that's going to subtract that stuff right out of the word ant, just like I'd like. So if I click off, there it is, just like that. Now, there are some little pieces in here I could get rid of if I wanted to. For example, um, if I scroll in using, well, this button, uh, option right there. See all these little teeny tiny things. So I could get rid of those right now if I want to by clicking on them and just saying delete. Or if I had made my offset bigger to begin with, these things would not have been there. So play around with your offset. If I had made it just maybe a zero point one or something like that. It might not have been there. But I can just delete these if I want to because I really don't need these little tiny pieces cutting out. That may be all. Let's see. Let me scroll over. I think that's all. So I'm going to go back out. And then what I can do is that original text that I had saved over here, I'm going to highlight it. And I think I'll change it to a different color by coming up here to the color swatch. I'll change it to pink just so we can see clearly what's happening. And I can exit out of this point editing panel by hitting the X button. So I'm going to drag this over here. And that is how easy it is. Wouldn't that make a cute t-shirt or a reverse canvas or anything? So if you are, let me delete this one. If you are using a silhouette machine, of course, all you'll do is go to send. And it looks kind of junky over here, but I'm going to have it cut by the different fills that I have. So notice what comes up now. I have the blue fill and the pink fill. I'm going to uncheck the pink one so that only the blue will cut. And notice it says cut and the tool that I have is the auto blade, which is what I have in my Cameo 3. Notice it says for the material heat transfer flock. I changed it to that because I've already practiced this once, but you just have to click on this drop down arrow and click whatever object, whatever uh, material you're using. And for the pink, I didn't use heat transfer flock. So I'm going to change that and I changed it to heat transfer glitter. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, so what's going to happen, I'm going to send this to my machine and it's going to cut out the blue flock first. Then when that is done, I'll eject that. And then what I'll do is I'll uncheck this because I'm done with it and I'll check the pink because that's now what's going to cut. Okay, let's go back to design. If I wanted to do this in Cricut Design Space, I would just go to File, Save As, Save to Hard Drive, and I'll save it as Ant in my um, Downloads folder. And I'm going to save it as an SVG. We need to do that for our Cricut machines. And the only way you can do that in Silhouette uh, software is if you have the business edition and I have a link down below for that if you'd like to get that don't forget to grab the extra 10% off when you're there there'll be a button that shows up on the left hand side the lower left anyway so I'm going to go to save SVG and say okay then I'll come over here and I'll oh by the way 
make sure if you don't belong to our Facebook groups that you uh, either join one, both, whatever. This one's Cricut Design Space with Patty Ann. And the other one that I have is Cutting Up with Patty Ann. And that is for using Silhouette, Cricut, and even um, Scanning Cuts. Anyway, let's get to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to open up a new window and open up Cricut Design Space. And... Okay, here it is. So I'm going to upload, upload an image, browse, and y'all are familiar with this, I hope. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and find the word ant that I just did, or the ant file that I just did. There it is. Open. And here it is. Perfect. So I'll say save. And now I'm going to insert it. So it's really easy to use the Silhouette software with your Cricut machine. You don't have to have a Silhouette machine, but you can. Okay, it's all coming in. Notice each one of these letters over here is separate. So what I might like to do is to grab all of these letters, and I would like to do this, over here in the Layers panel. And what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing all of these and I'm going to attach them because I want them to stay in the order that they are. So, uh, so hmm. oh, first I needed to ungroup the big group. <laughs> Shoot. And now I can grab them all. Hopefully they're still selected. They are great. So now I can attach them. Okay, and while these are all attached, I also will say weld, I guess. Just so hopefully I can move them all as one piece now. All right, let's see. Yeah, great. All right, then this part right here, I'm going to group it and weld it. All right, so now we're ready to go and we can go to make it. So watch the magic, it's perfect. The first thing's gonna come in like this and this is gonna cut out of our blue. Oh, but check out the size, y'all. It's like one inch by three inches. We always do need to adjust the size when we come into Cricut Design Space. You can change it to any size you want to. The only time you cannot is if you're using the um, rhinestone feature because the sizes are really important there. And but look and let's see the names of the people. Perfect. So again, what I would do if I want to resize this while I'm in Cricut Design Space is I need to have both of these together and select them both because I have to resize them together so that they'll fit within each other. So there we go, just like that. Perfect. And now if I go to make it. So now I made one of them too big for the 12 by 12, but it fits on the 12 by 20 format. Let's just say, okay. So here's ant. And then on the next one, I'd have to have the 12 by 20 format to put all the names. But anyway, that's how easy it is. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I'm doing more and more silhouette, silhouette with Cricut and just Cricut. So please subscribe and tell your friends. I'm trying to get up to 17,000 subscribers. Uh, also, make sure that you join us over at both of our Facebook pages. Um, and I have a Patreon page, too. Look down below on my links. If you're in the market to purchase something, I have a lot of links down there that'll um, save you some money. And also, I get a little tiny commission. And it helps me to be able to purchase things so that I can make um, samples for you guys. So I was just trying to show you one, but I don't have it right offhand. I'll show you it when I do the rhinestones. So again, thanks for joining me. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.